Welcome back to another episode of GTA Online. Today we're going to be selling my nightclub in a public session, and I'm going to be doing it all by myself. Let's start off by spinning the wheel, though. Hopefully we get the car here. Ah, uh, dang, only 25k. That's pretty rough. But let's go over to my nightclub. One of the new business battle events just spawned in. Let's see which one this is. Looks like I'm the first one here. I gotta start by hacking this panel. Let's try to take the shortcut. Oh, I made it. Alright, there we go. Let's head on in here. I'm kind of scared, but let's find out what's going on in here. I barely see the opponents in here, and sometimes they don't even spawn in until you're like right next to them. And then they have shotguns. Grabbed one of the crates, there are way too many people in here, and it's kind of hard to even see them. I am out of here. That place is a nightmare to do solo. Made it here to the nightclub with the event cargo. Let's go. We got the pink dot tech mask from that too, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna check the map really quick, make sure there's not an oppressor flying right outside the nightclub, which there is, jeez. There's two oppressors right outside the nightclub here, I might want to wait for them to leave before starting this mission. We have a million dollars, a little bit over, yeah, and we are gonna just sell it all at once. Let's get a good mission, let's go, I'm doing this solo in a lobby with like 13 people. Oh no. Looking pristine. No oh, we can't uh, no hit things, no people are killing each other in the chat, no. Uh, let's see which drop is the closest. Uh, let's just hit up this one. This is like next fuel. There's a helicopter flying right over me. I think I'm just gonna start by activating a uh, ghost sword. That's right away, right before I have a global signal. And oh, we're gonna be driving past this person. Will we make it? Will they see me? I don't think so. We're approaching the first drop off. First drop up was made, let's waypoint the next one, I guess can be this one. Oh, there's a Mark II oppressor, it just flew right over me, so it's a big group of people. I don't think they spotted me though. Ghost Org is about to wear off completely, I did crash a little bit, but hopefully we're going to be able to make the remaining two drops on the radar. We are now officially on the radar, people can see me, and there are a lot of people around here, including someone right next to one of my drops. Where is... the map just took me to the wrong place, guys map bamboozled me. Well thankfully that player left but the map is trolling me. I'm not actually sure where I'm supposed to be going. Am I supposed to be here or down farther? I don't know. Hopefully it's like right here. Yes it is. Let's go. Okay that's the second drop. Now for the final drop. There's now a jet on the map which is having me really worried as jets can just melt through this thing like it's nothing. So hopefully that jet does not bother me. So well, the map bamboozled me again. I am stuck on this bridge. I don't know where is the fastest way to get off. Maybe here. But it's trying to take me up the bridge, but the, the drop point is underneath the bridge. So I'm going to go down here. Do not listen to waypoints. They suck. Approaching the final drop point, guys. It looks like we did, in fact, make all three of them. We got $9,330 as a bonus for not crashing into too many things. I did I did crash quite a bit, but didn't crash into too much. But let's go. Let's see how much we made as a bonus from all these players. It was selling for a little bit over a million before the player bonus kicks in. And let's see how much it is after. We wouldn't have had a million if uh, we hadn't got the player bonus. So the player bonus was uh, probably a, over a hundred thousand because Tony took a hundred thousand cut and we still ended up over a million that I received. So that was really cool. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you next time. Peace.